Hello, I wanted to get some more work done on the animations. Um, we're in the event graph. Um, so we got the speed and direction, which isn't so useful right now. Might not be. I wanted to show you that, in case you have your own, uh, a good animation, uh, a good blend space you're using. Maybe you paid for one. Um, so uh, off the second, off uh, pin one of the sequence, I created this reference off pin zero. I want to get as player character, get it. I want to get uh, is reloading from, from the player character blueprint. I want to set that in a local variable called is reloading. <laughs> Excuse me, I had a Coca Cola um, with a caffeine tablet in it. Um, I didn't drink the whole thing, I had a little sip. I had a little sip. Um, so I get this uh, 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 in a reloading variable. So I want to come here, I want to say blend poses by bull. Blend poses by bull. So the boolean is is reloading. If it's true, it's over here in player character, we get that when we're reloading, it says we press R, it, it immediately goes, Yes, we're reloading. 2.2 seconds later, my ammo is set and it says, No, we're no longer reloading. Um, so during that time, um, or just on the on that activation, I so this this will be false, and this animation reload rifle iron sights. Rifle, reload rifle iron sights will be what happens whenever it says true. Reload rifle iron sights. <sighs> Let's test it. Press true. Doesn't want to. Let me see. Here it is reloading. Let me take this out. This will work. I don't think it's coming to. Oh, it does work. Okay, so it still works. We got that to work with, without using this. Put that off to the side. Um, we did that by. Getting the reloading variable out of the player, setting it in the local variable, the animation blueprint. Blend poses by bull. If it's true, I reload. I play the reload animation. If it's not true, then see how this is kind of constantly primed and going. Uh, because this running, updating the animation is on it's on a tick. It's updating it. It's got these these running. Um, this is running. And here's the output pose. So that's out of there. This still works. That's good. Um, what else do I want to do? Um, I think, I think that's good for getting um, a reload. I want to go over here into the player, and um, when I switch. When I say A, we can do this with an enum. You want to do it with an enum? Go to content. Let's go to weapons. Let's right click. Let's create a blueprint class. Oh, let's go to blueprint. Let's go to um, enumeration. Let's go to weapon enumeration. OS. Add two enumerators. One is going to be assault underscore rifle. Description is going to be this is the player's first choice. Second enumerator is going to be pistol. And it's all description is this is the player's second choice. 
Um, I want to get that enum. I'm gonna call it weapon enum. I'm naming it because I know what it is. I want to go and get this as weapon enumeration. That's what I called this. That's how you get the enumeration. I want to set this when I switch when I press A the first time. I have a I have the saw rifle. I press this the first time, and it's called weapon switch. So the first time I switch press it, it's gonna switch from my standard, which is the assault rifle, to the pistol. So the weapon enum set is going to be set as pistol. When I do it again, back to the first, the third set total. The first is about begin play. The second is switching to the pistol, the third is switching back to the saw rifle. Um, sorry. Oh, okay, so we can get... Um, under the player character, we can get bank graph. We can get player character, we can set it a, set a weapon enumeration, weapon enumeration, I want to set it, I want to go ahead and get weapon enum, I want to set it, so we're getting what it is, what we're setting it to out of the player character blueprint, we're setting it into a local blueprint within the animation blueprint a, a local variable within the animation blueprint My weapon enumeration is here I'm going to say switch on enum switch on weapon enumeration I'm going to plug this in here Um, not sure about this. Not, I wanted it to be kind of like blend poses by uh, blend poses by enum, blend poses by enum. Like that, yeah. Okay. Um. This is for the default. Default. We start with an uh, assault rifle. The assault rifle pose is the full set we've got for the assault rifle pistol. We want to go and get. Uh, Pistol, idle pistol. Plug in the pistol. Let's see if this works. Um, let's go in here. Let's take out these animations okay so it does work switch to the pistol which this is a more advanced uh, weapon switch system weapon switch animation system which I think is advanced I think that's cool to have animations animations are hard um, so this is cool we've used an animation blueprint and we switch from uh, our assault rifle, we can reload. 
and we switch over to a pistol. And so I'll show you that again because we did this kind of fast. So we uh, what we did was we got we created this enum here. Um, we got this enum. We named it one for assault rifle, one for pistol. Whenever we switch the flip flop, it starts the assault rifle. So when we press it the first time and it goes to A, we want to set this to pistol. We're setting this the weapon enum what it's set to. It could be called set weapon enumeration. Um, but we just set the weapon enumeration. Um, we set it, you know, to whatever it is. Or we have equipped. Uh, it could be weapon equipped enumeration. We could we can name it that. Uh, we can name it weapon equipped enumeration. That If that helps you. Weapon equipped enumeration. Um, when we set that, we come over here. We get in the event graph. We get that out of we get that same set weapon equipped enumeration. We set it into what we call weapon enumeration within the FPS player character FPS player character and a BP. Do we have that set in this FPS player character and a BP? We can use it on a blend poses by enumeration. Um, and I have an enumeration, and it gave me the availability to switch on this very enumeration. Blend poses by enumeration, and there's my enumeration. Um, blend, blend by enum, and I have an enum, so it, it, was, it was available. I right clicked on this end. I asked I asked it to activate the assault rifle pin in the pistol pin. They came up. I have this here when I have the assault rifle active. It it uses these. And I'm able to reload like the assault rifle. When I have the pistol equipped, it plays this animation, which is me holding the pistol. So whenever I press this button over here, it switches the pistol. Over here it says, oh, it's pistol now, play the pistol animation. That's why when you come into the game, it's, I'm going to press this, it's going to flip flop to A, it's going to be set weapon enum to pistol. It's going to go over to the animation blueprint, it's going to say, use the pistol pin, play weapon, uh, equipped enumeration, and it's going to say idle pistol. Idle pistol, right there, and that's where we get off on the visual side. It says right there. Um, so I set that, it flipped to A, it said weapon set enum pistol, and it went over it on the blend poses by enum, said pistol, play the pistol animation, and now we're here, we're playing a pistol animation. So, and then this is the same, we can reload here. I'm pretty sure if we go into this, it, 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 I'm pressing, I'm pressing R, it won't reload on this because we're set to the the weapon s switch enum pistol, and we don't have we don't have a reload set up for we don't, we don't have this set up for the pistol reloads or not, and I don't want this video to get too long. Um, so I think this is okay to stop with this uh, more advanced. Uh, weapon animation system. So thank thank you for paying attention. Thank you for watching.